All right, guys. So today's story is honestly something that's been long awaited for. As you guys may know, yes, I've done the Devil's Tango with a lot of people, and that's including one person that I never expected to do it with, and that's my teacher. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story takes place back when I was in grade 12. It was my final year of high school, and let's just say I was graduating. Now, usually when people graduate, they try to leave high school behind and pretend none of it ever happened. At least I know I did. Because let's be real here, if anyone from high school knew I was making videos about my high school life, well, they'd be very interested. Anyways, going on though, I remember back in high school, in my grade 12 year, we had a language arts teacher. Now, I never knew the reason for language arts. Like, believe it or not, we neither learned a language or art, to be honest. I guess it's just some sort of way to like, just make a curricular activity for everyone to do while it's not anything painful. But I don't know, it's just a dumb class that I'm gonna be honest, you don't learn anything on. But going on with the story, I remember basically my language arts class, there was a really, really hot teacher there. Now, a lot of people took language arts just because they wanted to hang out with the hot teacher. And to be honest, I never understood why, but apparently there was a rumor going around the school that basically the teacher would always choose one favorite guy student because she was really hot. And basically, apparently they would get a good time with the teacher. Now, when I first heard about this rumor, I thought it was like, oh, like, you know, they get to hang out with the teacher because she's so hot and basically get like more homework or something. So I remember when I first entered that class, I would always kind of like avoid being that favorite student. But I remember throughout the school year or the semester, I should say, she would always like really always try to talk to me and stuff. Like one time she came up to my desk and bent over basically really close to me and said, how are you doing, Bubba? While she was like literally showing her cleavage at me. And I remember I kind of just decided to like kind of look away and be like, oh, nothing. Just finishing up my English homework. I remember she kept looking at me. And every time we had a class, for example, or a special event happening, she would always have her eyes on me. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm used to being watched by teachers because I was a pretty bad kid back in high school. But to the point of like, you know, literally being almost like stared down was just not comfortable. But anyways, I remember a couple days like later on, like after she did that whole cleavage showing thing, she ended up actually one time coming up beside me and she came over to like the desk that was like literally right beside me basically. And let's just say she did the iconic teacher bend over. If you guys don't know what that is, basically she literally bent over as far as she could down on the ground to pick up a student's pencil that he dropped. And yeah, let's just say I got a full face of that. Uh, Well, I guess, you know, the peach, <laughs> if anyone knows what I mean. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the site and yes, I, I won't lie to you. I got bricked. Now me being bricked in class is nothing that out of the usual. Like, I'm not going to lie. I've been bricked in class so many times because of like, you know, hot students or, you know, for example, like a hot teacher like this one. But I remember I basically decided to like kind of cross my legs acting like I had to go to the bathroom. And when the teacher stood back up from bending over, I remember she looked over at me and said, oh, like, Bubba, do you need to go to the bathroom? Do you want me to show you the way to where it is? Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. And I ended up just continuing my homework while I was sitting cross-legged. By the way, if you're a guy that sits cross-legged, I got to admit, it's very uncomfortable. Unless, you know, you have like small eggplant. And I mean, like, you know, it makes sense because I have like a giant one, right? So like, you know, obviously it's uncomfortable for me. Sorry, enough about my eggplant. But basically though, I remember one day when I entered classroom though, and this was like a couple days after she did the whole bending over situation, I ended up sitting down at my desk and I was doing my homework and stuff. And then my teacher walked up to me and said, hey, Bubba, I'm gonna need to see you after class, if that's okay. I remember I kind of looked at her like all like really weird. And I'm like, oh, uh, why am I in trouble? Is what I asked her. She ended up looking at me. She's like, oh, like, no, 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 no trouble at all. I just, I need to see you after class. That's all. And then I ended up making some excuse that I couldn't see her. So I was like, oh, like I have to go to like gym class afterwards. So like, I can't like, you know, stay here, but like maybe after school, if you really need to see me, she ended up saying, oh, I mean, yeah, after school, even better. Yeah. hundred percent. And then right as she walks away from me, I remember seeing the guy beside me in my class, literally going on his phone so fast and texting people that basically I was her new favorite student. Cause apparently no one throughout that semester got asked to stay after school like me. And I don't know, people thought, let's just say things were going to go down. As for me though, I didn't want things to go down, nor did I want any talk about me going to see the teacher after school. So my original plan was to basically, yeah, skip her. I would literally just not go after school. You know, that's basically my main idea. It wouldn't be the first time I skipped class before. But anyways, going on with the story though, I remember after school came along and basically I ended up kind of like getting my backpack and getting my gym clothes back on. And basically uh, my plan was to leave. I was literally getting ready to go straight to my car and dip because when I was in grade 12, yes, I had a car. It was a blue Toyota Silica and it looked amazing. It's actually on my Instagram. So if you guys want to go see it, make sure you go check it out. But anyways, I remember as I got everything dressed up and ready and I was ready to head to my car, I remember I had to go through one hallway, just one singular hallway just to get to my car. So I remember I'm taking steps, you know, kind of being careful to not get caught by the teacher. And right as you know it, right where there's like an intersection in the hallway, there she was. The teacher that really wanted to see me after school ends up walking up to me saying, oh, Bubba, did you just get out of class? Oh, that's perfect. You know what? Just come follow me. She ends up grabbing my wrist as if I'm like her son or something and ends up dragging me to her classroom. 
room, like literally dragging me. I remember on the way as she was dragging me though, I was trying to make some sort of excuse not to go there. So I was like, oh, like my mom's in the hospital. I mean, like my grandpa's dying. I mean, like I, I, can't, I just can't go. I don't know. I was making every single excuse until we were finally in the classroom and she said, okay, Bubba, just sit down. I just want to talk to you for a minute. I remember I sat down and I kind of just looked around curiously and I'm like, bro, I mean it, bro. If she gives me any sort of homework. I'm going to cry. I remember she ends up walking up to me while she was chewing gum. And as she was chewing gum, I remember she literally like took out the gum out of her mouth for some reason. And she started unbuttoning her shirt. But as she was though, I'm like, wait, what's going on? And then I remember she basically ended up coming up behind me. And that's when she reached for it. She reached for my eggplant, bro. Now at this point, I'm not going to lie to you. I was already bricked because you guys don't know. Cherries are my weakness. Okay. Cherries are the ultimate weakness for me. But right as I found out that this teacher was literally trying to do the devil's tango with me, I'm like, okay, yo, 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 chill, chill chill. And I remember I ended up standing up and basically putting my hand up and saying like, you need to calm down. She ended up looking at me all kind of like upset. And she's like, Bubba, if you do this, I'm going to fail you. Wait, what is what I said? I'm like, wait, if I do this. And then at that point, she ended up closing the blinds on the window. And yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I literally ended up doing the devil's tango with my teacher. Now, don't get me wrong. It wasn't anything bad, but right as I knew it, I remember basically after everything was done and, you know, we got dressed and everything, I ended up telling her that, you know, we shouldn't be doing this. Like this, this is like extremely illegal. Like, aren't you worried you're going to get caught? I remember she ended up telling me, oh, like, no, you're kidding me. Like, I've been doing this for like over four years. Like, I always do it with some sort of grade 12. You're fine. Wait, what is what I said afterwards? I don't know. I was really disgusted. Like, knowing how many grade 12s have been, you know, doing the devil's tango with this teacher. Yeah, right. So I remember after when I ended up leaving the classroom and kind of like a shock of what just happened, I remember there was one person. It was the same kid that sits beside me in the language arts class. He ended up taking a photo of me leaving the classroom and sent it to everyone. At that point, everyone knew what happened. Everyone knew that I basically ended up doing the devil's tango with my teacher. And right as you know it, rumors got spread around over the following week and that's when it happened. I ended up getting called to the office and that's when I knew that there was a counselor and there was a principal in that same office and they were talking to me saying, okay, Bella, so there's a rumor going around the school that you did one of the teachers. Do you want to uh, tell me the truth here and tell me what's happening? Did you like, you know, put this rumor out there? Now, in reality, I knew like our principal kind of had a crush on this teacher. So if I were to say that I ended up, you know, doing the devil's tango with the teacher, he wasn't going to believe me. So obviously I ended up lying to him saying, oh, like, no, like someone just made up that rumor because everyone thinks he's attractive is what I ended up telling him because there's no way he was going to believe me. Right. And the counselor is just inspecting me like she can read my mind for some reason, like high school counselors are the most useless thing ever. So I remember at that point, I'm not going to lie to you. I ended up just kind of like, you know, leaving the classroom and everyone just kept questioning me over and over. And that's when I realized I had to handle this my own way. And honestly, the way I handled it was, well, I want to say almost illegal, but we're going to have to say that story for another time. Make sure you just leave a like and subscribe. If you guys want that story. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. All right. Peace out guys.